boys and girls and welcome back to Miss Allen's channel. It's a new week and our new theme this week is based around a book. The book is called Goldilocks and the Three Bears. This week Miss Allen will read you lots of different versions of the book. As we will see there's lots of ways that you can tell the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Today is Monday, May 11th, 2020. Like I said, today we are going to read a, one of the more classic, classic means one of the original stories of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. This version is retold and illustrated by James Marshall. So we see a little girl who happens to be dancing on top of a stump and we see the three bears in the back. Let's see what adventures they get up to in our story. <clears throat> Once there was a little girl called Goldilocks. What a sweet child, said someone new in town. That's what you think, said the neighbor. Hmm. They're saying she's a sweet and kind child. And the neighbor said, that's what you think. Maybe she's not so sweet as everybody thinks. Maybe she's a bit naughty. One morning, Goldilocks's mother sent her to buy muffins in the next village. You must promise to not take the shortcut through the forest, she said. I've heard there's bears live there. I promise, said Goldilocks. But to tell the truth, Goldilocks was one of those naughty little girls who did exactly as they pleased. So her mother told her, don't take the shortcut through the woods. And since she was a little naughty, of course, she did what she pleased. And this is the entrance to the woods, and it says, Danger, very risky, not a good idea. Turn back, go the other way. But she's not listening. Wonder if she'll meet the bears. <clears throat> Meanwhile, in a clearing deep inside the forest, in a charming house, all... In a charming house, all their own, a family of brown bears was sitting down for breakfast. Oh, they live in a nice little house. Hmm, they don't look too dangerous. They don't look like scary bears. <clears throat> Patooey, cried a big old papa bear. This por porridge is holding Scott hot. I burned my tongue. I'm crying, cried baby bear. Now really, said mama bear, who was the medium-sized bear. That's quite enough. I know, said papa bear. Why don't we go for a spin while the porridge is cooling? Excellent, said mama bear. So they all got on their rusty old bike and went off. Tra la la la. So they were eating breakfast and they were eating porridge. We've talked about porridge before. We've said porridge is a type of hot cereal and it was too hot. So it burnt their tongues. So to cool it off, while it cooled off, they decided to go for a bike ride. Um, a few minutes later, Goldilocks arrived at the bear's house. She walked out right in without even bothering to knock. On the dining room table, there were three inviting bowls of porridge. I don't mind if I do, said Goldilocks, helping herself to the biggest bowl. So without even knocking, Goldilocks went into that house. I don't think that's such a great idea. And then she helped herself to the biggest bowl of porridge, which happened to be Papa's bear. Papa Bear's porridge. But p the porridge in the biggest bowl was much too hot. Patooey, cried Goldilocks, and she spat it out. Next, she tasted the porridge in the medium-sized bowl, but the porridge was much too cold. Then Goldilocks tasted the porridge in the little bowl, and it was just right, neither too hot or new too cold. In fact, she liked it so much that she gobbled it all the way up. So in the big bowl, it was too hot. In the medium bowl, it was too cold. But the little bowl that belonged to Baby Bear was just right, and she ate all of the porridge. Mmm. Feeling full and satisfied, Goldilocks thought it would be a great fun to have to look around. Right away, she noticed 
a lot of coarse brown fur everywhere. They must have kittens, she said. In the parlor, there were three chairs. I don't mind if I do, she said, climbing into the biggest one. But the biggest chair was much too hard, and she couldn't get comfortable. So now she's in their living room. She sat on the biggest chair that must belong to Papa Bear. It was too hard. She didn't like it. It wasn't comfortable. Next, she sat in the medium-sized chair, but the chair was much too soft, and she thought she would might never get out of it. Then Goldilocks sat in the little chair, and it was just right, neither too, not too hard nor too soft. In fact, she liked it so much that she rocked and she rocked until the chair fell completely to pieces. So the medium-sized chair that belonged to Mama Bear was too soft, so she didn't like that one either. So she tried Baby's chair. She liked it so much that she rocked and rocked until she broke it. So now she's ate all of Baby Bear's porridge and she's broke his chair. How do you think Baby Bear is going to feel when he comes home? I don't think too happy. Now all that rocking left Goldilocks quite tuckered out, which means she was tired. I could take a little snooze, she said. She went to look up for a comfy place to nap. Upstairs there was three bear beds. I don't mind if I do, said Goldilocks, and she got into the biggest one. But the head of the biggest bed was much too high. That doesn't look very comfortable. So she's tired, she wants to take a nap. So she laid down in Papa's bed, and it was too high. Next, she tried the medium-sized bed, but the head of the bed was much too low. Then Goldilocks tried the little bed, and it was just right. Soon was all nice and cozy and sound asleep. She didn't hear the bears come in. So she tried Mama's bear, and the head was too low. Then she tried the baby bear's bed, and it was just right. So comfortable and right enough that she soon fell asleep and took a nap. She didn't hear the bears come in. The three bears were mighty hungry, but when they went for in for breakfast, they could scarcely believe their eyes. Someone has been in my porridge, said Papa Bear. Someone has been in my porridge, said Mama Bear. Someone was, has been in my porridge, said Baby Bear, and eaten it all up. So they come in and discovered she ate all the porridge. In the parlor, or the living room, the three bears were surprised for another little surprise. Someone has been sitting in my chair, said Papa Bear. Someone has been sitting in my chair, said Mama Bear. Someone has been sitting in my chair, said Baby Bear, and broke it to smithereens. So now they see that they have broke Baby Bear's chair. Wonder if they'll find her. The three bears went upstairs on tiptoe, not knowing what they would discover. And first, everything seemed fine. But then when Papa lay down on his brass bed, someone has been lying in my bed, he cried, and he was not amused, which means he was not happy. I don't know if I would want to make a big old bear not happy. Egads, cried Mama Bear. Someone has been lying in my bear. Look, cried Baby Bear. Someone has been lying in my bear. And she's still there. Let's make a prediction. Remember, prediction means a guess. What do we think is going to happen now that they found Goldilocks in Baby Bear's bed? Now see! Here, roared Papa Bear. Goldilocks woke up with a start, and her eyes nearly popped out of her head. But before the bear, bears could demand a proper explanation, Goldilocks was out of her bed, out the window, on her way home. Who was that girl? I have no idea, said Mama Bear, but I hope we never see her again. So she escaped out the window. And they never saw her again. The end. 
I think Goldilocks learned her lesson to not go into the forest and maybe listen to her mom and dad. I think that's a pretty smart idea. I hope you guys have a great week learning more about Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Like I said, there's lots of different versions of this story. I love you and miss you and see you later. Bye-bye.